Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be making a video about my United States Marine Corps inspired loadout. Now, this is going to be the part 3 and why I'm making a part 3, obvious reason. A lot has changed since the previous video. Now, you may realize that the previous video was not that long time ago. And ever since the previous video, actually quite a large amount of my gear has changed. Very, very drastically. My entire loadout style and everything has changed from a heavier loadout into more lightweight loadout yet rocking a firepower so let's start with the video starting off with the gun well the gun is exactly the same as the very first video and the second video and the multicam video yada yada it's the same m4 yeah this m4 hasn't changed but one thing new addition into it is the grenade launcher now i have a 40 mic right here 40 millimeter grenade launcher on the barrel uh, it's green gas uh so yeah the m4 didn't change it's still the old classic m4 i will be buying a better one because this one is old and as you guys may see it's on semi but look at this yeah that semi is just a theory by this point it does not work properly so i'll be buying a new m4 now i don't use this m4 this is just to fit for the video but i actually want to play this loadout and i want to play it accurately so I'm going to get myself an M4. So every single bit of it, or this M4 is going to come off. And I'll put on a brand new M4. Now, I know the grenade launcher is not attached the proper way. It's attached to a rail. Well, the, in US military, the M203 grenade launcher is actually attached by a special attachment, uh, like method. And there's a thing on the ring. But my one, unfortunately, didn't want it properly attached. It was keep falling off. So I just... Screwed it onto the rail system. It works, you know. Now, I do have pouches and grenades for this grenade launcher. But that's on my old uh, plate carrier that's right here. Now, we're going to go down further into this later on in the video. Alright, so that was the rifle. Let's go down with the helmet. Now, the helmet is the exact same helmet as the previous video, as you guys may have seen. It's the same LWH. Uh, with the NVG Rhino mount and the uh, uh, Kai band, all the same shit. It's just I reversed the helm core for the desert one. Now on the desert video, the previous one, I told you guys how that helm cover on the woodland version looks like. That's exactly how it looks like. It's extremely worn and uh, it basically turned into a desert camo of its own, even though it is a woodland one. Uh, so yeah, that's the helmet. Let's go down with the body armor. All right. So now let's go down with the body armor. Also, I took off the helmet because, yeah, I got now hats as well for the wooden loadout. So it's just better without helmet. The body armor. This is ISPC or PC Gen 2. PC stands for plate carrier Gen 2. This is an original United States Marine Corps issue plate carrier with the hard and soft armor inside. Now the soft armor came with the vest and I already had the hard uh armor on my own so there's actual plate heavy plate on the front and on the back uh i also have sappy plates but they're on my different plate carrier and they're size medium and this plate carrier is size small i'm gonna show you tags later on so you guys know exactly what i'm on about the on the front now this is something i'm gonna have to change uh these are fucking i think condor or whatever triple magazine pouch yeah no go. I'm not gonna get myself a proper United States Marine Corps Eagle Industries Mac pouches or the newer generation Mac pouches. I don't know which one yet. I think I'm gonna stick with these ones because I like the flap. Uh, the flap is very easy and simple to use. I do got the steel mags inside. Now this one is the real one, as you guys can see. For all intents and purposes, this is a uh, deactivated ammunition. It's not functioning. But yep, I do have a real magazine here, uh, just for a more realistic loadout. Obviously not for airsoft, I don't use those on my cheaters, so yeah. Some of the cheating I'm not, I'm not using them, I just use a grenade launcher. But yeah, that's the triple mag pouch, and I'll be replacing that for Eagle Industries as soon as I get them, you know. As soon as I find ones that are very good, and they're not like heavily destroyed, because I already found a bunch of them, but they all have damages, and I do not want damaged, you know, equipment, at least... Heavily damaged equipment. I don't mind a bit, but like heavily damaged, yeah, hell no. So yeah, I'm gonna have to replace them, but that's how they're gonna look. On the side over here, 
I have a cummerbund, came with the plate carrier, obviously. But, funny enough, now if you're watching this, the person that sent me this plate carrier, fun fact, this is actually not SPC, sorry, ISPC cummerbund. I think that's a IMTV cummerbund, because it does not have the bottom part for the quick release, and the side pockets, the side, the side plates, uh, pouches, they are actually MTV uh, side plate pockets. Now, that's how the vest came with, so I'm not going to be messing with it, you know, that's just, it was part of the vest. But that's a fun fact, they're actually not, you know, one another, but they look exactly identical, except for the pouches. So who cares? I don't really care, to be honest, it's just a plate carrier. So on this side I have the iFact, it's the exact same iFact as on my previous video, but I did put a one cool thing inside, I might show you that later on with a close up. Um, there's actually now a bag inside that holds all my medical stuff, so now, and it has a string, so whenever I need to get something, I don't have to dig through my shit, I just have to grab it out and there we go, then I can open the bag and take it out stuff. Uh, so that's pretty, cool. that, that comes pretty handy and very good. On the back, you can see my surname on the top. It's in the desert camo. It's the same patch as on the very first video that you guys seen. And a hydration pack. Uh, sorry, a hydration pouch. Now, I bought this one just because it belongs to this vest, basically. It is part of this vest. Marines wear these on their new IS, sorry, ISPCs and PC Gen trees, whatever. They wear those hydration packs. All the older ones, hydration packs I had, they belong to the older type, like 2012-2010 era. Yeah, this one belongs to this one, so that's accurate, 100%. On this side, I'm carrying um, just a dump pouch, the United States Marine Corps issued dump pouch. And another side plate pocket, and the cover bond. So, as you may can see, as you guys can see, I'm lacking the belt. I don't have a battle belt anymore, I'm not wearing it. I'm also missing a lot of equipment that I had previously in my previous video. Why? Because I changed my playstyle with the Marine Corps equipment. Since I kind of want them a, you know, a little bit high speed loadout, but yet a Marine Corps one, this is all I need. I don't need more than six magazines. I don't need, you know, fancy fucking grenade pouches. I don't have grenades. Uh, I did, not anymore. I lost them all. I don't need no fucking groin protectors or shit like that, you know, that that's all unnecessary by this point. It's just, it was too heavy and too bulky and very unnecessary. I felt sometimes like a juggernaut, especially with the LWH on my head. You know, it comes very, very built up, you know, and it's very protective, yeah, but it's useless. You know, a lot of that stuff was useless. So, you can see, Litchi just essentials so i fact in case if i get hurt actually hurt on their soft magazine pouches for obvious reasons and a dump pouch for also obvious reasons just to stack shit inside i don't need no battle belt because on battle belt i'm not gonna carry anything so yeah another fun thing that you could guys see is now i have a marpat woodland i did have a marpat woodland before it was actually my first marine corps uniform that i bought but I really didn't like Marpa Woodland. I still am not a big fan of it. And it got destroyed, heavily destroyed. Because that was my first uniform. It just it got ripped and it it was just fucked, you know? It was it wasn't the best uniform to wear. So I got myself the Desert Digital. Sorry, the Desert Marpa, which you guys could see me in the previous videos. Uh or the frog as well. I also got the frog uniform. Now, I rebought a Desert, sorry, the Woodland Marpat, and I actually got a brand new pair as well. So the this jacket, if you guys look at my Instagram, is actually brand new. It still had like the armory or whatever tags, the clothing tags and shit like that. It was a brand new uniform, so it was never used. Same thing with trousers, it was never used. So that was a pretty lucky score. I bought it off a surplus shop and it was brand new. The hat is also brand new. So yeah, the hat fits me great and I actually had to style it as well. And I also have a booty hat. Right here, you guys can see with a Marine Corps logo on it. Now there is somewhere in bro like the hidden in the fabric Marine Corps logo, but I yet didn't find it. But yeah, Marine Corps booty hat. Um, so yeah, I think that's about the uniform everything. Now the gloves are the same gloves. They're the mechanics gloves. Why? Because Marines use them. So 
and they're actually very good gloves i actually love mechanic gloves that's why i have so many different pairs of them i have woodland multicam black coyote tan or coyote brown you name it whatever i have all different colors i also have uh orange ones but they're they're for work you know they're not like actually for military impression or whatever they're like from bike or whatever so yeah so i got a lot of mechanics gloves so if one of them gets destroyed i always have a spare four or five different ones on my hand so yeah that's not too bad the boots are the same type of boots remember your personal protection is up to you and you should not you know um what's it called go fully realistic when it comes to boots sure if you're doing impression like 100 percent or reenactment go for it but you're doing that on your own risk i personally you know i'd rather these boots they're very comfy and then they, they don't give me blisters or anything like that they did at the beginning but not anymore they're very comfy and they have zippers on the side so that's great also you can funny enough you can actually see the hidden fabric marine corps emblem right here same in the jacket but they're mostly on the chest area than on the hands so i cannot show you guys i'll show you later on all the close-ups of it um now going to the equipment that i do not use anymore Funny enough, by the time I made that video, a couple days later, a few new things arrived to me. So, triple grenade pouch, their Eagle Industries grenade pouch uh, for the 40 mic. And I got the ACOG pouch, or the night vision pouch, right here. That also arrived. Now, I would have been using that, but now this became just a spare piece of equipment. I don't have a purpose to use this pouch at the moment. If I'm going to be playing a night game with, where I'm going to be using nods, and I'll attach this to my backpack or my plate carrier, it doesn't matter. But at the moment, I don't need it. Uh, my tourniquet is still on this vest. It, as you guys can see, I don't have a tourniquet over here. I would have put the tourniquet in my IFAC, but at the moment, I'm not doing that because I did just order a tourniquet pouch with the tourniquet, the Marine Corps one. So I'll be probably attaching that to my plate carrier like on the side over here over here depends where I want it. So yeah, that's that's about it for the United States Marine Corps impression loadout. So if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Alright, so here we're gonna go with a close-up of the kit. Now um that's my older plate carrier, the SPC, as you guys can see right here. You're I think you guys already got the close-up of it, but I didn't go through with it, so I mean, I don't really need to. It's just a standard SPC, you know, with the uh, flap and shit. So, nothing very special. There's a lot of tape inside, as I already told you guys, I think, in my first video. It's just for comfort. Uh, here you guys can see the tags of MTV. You probably can't see it from all the way there, but who cares? Yeah, that's not about this. Um, here is the Desert Marpa. On me, you guys, you guys see the woman one. Here's the Desert one. It's the same exact thing. There's the tags. So, yeah. And I have a matching trousers for it. I also have the frog trousers and the frog top. The combat shirt. So, yeah. That's the uniform. Here's the LWH. Kind of wet on the top with the rhino mount. You guys probably can see the rhino mount right here, the date. That's the NVG mount. Mm, but that's it. The hat that was on about. You guys probably can see the emblem more better now. The United States Eagle Globe and Anchor. Yeah, that's the battle belt I used to wear. It's not a eagle battle belt it's just the belt i chose to pick because it's heavily padded and believe me at first when i got it it was coyote brown but after bleaching and all that shit it turned into coyote tannish color you would say well this is coyote, coyote tan the belt is kind of sorry yeah coyote tan this is coyote brown but you guys can see the webbing it's kind of more lighter tone to it but I don't use that shit anymore. Here's the SBC right here. So the mag pouches, the Marine Corps patch, and my name tag, the camel bag, 
on the inside of the plate carrier I do have the pads like those comfort hip pads right here they're just to make the carrying of the vest more better so they came with the vest there's a sight sappies on the side here's the tags you guys probably can't see it but right here if you guys want to pause the video right now and read the tag if you guys are able there's the tag and there's the back one basically it's the same thing it's just this one says the back plate and this one says the front plate and that's it front or bag um, so yeah nothing too special with this plate carrier it's just a standard SPC sorry ISPC it is in size small and I heard that size small is very rare for this sort of a plate carrier so I guess I'm lucky I don't know you guys leave a comment down below if it's rare or not uh, some someone told me I'm not gonna say who but uh, I trust him with my life so <laughs> I think it is rare well at least at the time when he told me that he got it it was rare and I think it is still rare I'm not sure maybe it is maybe it isn't now I did take out the back plate just to guys show you there is a ballistic um, soft armor inside you guys can see that it's giving a bit of a resistance in there um, I'm not gonna pull it out the whole ballistic plate but I guess can show you at least a bit of it so how you get access to it is there is a hidden velcro right here between the velcro and this right here and there is the ballistic plate right here so it is brand new so that's a good thing so it's nicely hidden there from what it said I'm gonna try to post pictures on the in like from right here not of my one because I'm not bothered taking it out but I did take it out before just to read it it says it can stop a fragment fragments uh, shrapnels uh, 9 millimeter submachine gun bullets but it will not stop knives or higher caliber weapons so that's a good thing you know if it can stop a submachine gun pistol in theory obviously everything is, should be questioned uh, that's great you know all I need this is just stop babies so I guess 9 millimeter can stop that that's a pro for the things I, I do have a plate on the front so the front or bag is actually kind of heavy the back one is not just to show just so I could show you guys that it is flimsy with the uh, ballistic uh, plate whatever not the ballistic plate but the soft armor it is flimsy so yep yeah, that's it when it comes to ISPC it's nothing special you basically if you guys google pictures of it it's the same picture it is very dirty though so I will probably clean it because this all over here that's not wet that's sweat that's years of sweat I'm guessing and only on the shoulders that's sweat and it's it dyed the color of the fabric kind of darkish brownish greenish color so I will take water or something like that or sponge and try to clean that off just so you know it's not it shouldn't be that dirty but it does not affect the you know the vest in any way so I don't, I don't think it really matters and there's the under the patch there's the velcro for the patches so my one's right here but if you guys don't want to wear it you don't need to I've seen a lot of marines not wearing any patches these days anyways so yeah well that's it to the video 